So my definition of a recession is, is a holistic definition. It goes well beyond two quarters of negative GDP. Um, we are not yet into a in a recession. We're not. Um, the, labor, the labor market is too strong. Consumer spending is too strong. Business um, balance sheets are too strong. We, we simply are not in a recession. Is the recession, risk of recession high? Yes, it is high and getting higher. Why? One, the Fed is hiking into a slowing economy. Two, as the IMF uh, forecast showed us recently, all the major areas of the global economy are slowing. You know, they're called the gloomy and uncertain. These are strong words coming from the IMF. I was there for 15 years. I know you don't use the word gloomy lightly, um, so we, we do have a high risk of recession. It's not preordained that there, there are and should be um, various measures to be taken in four areas in particular to stop us from slipping into recession. Um, but let's, let's monitor it. The risk is certainly high, Andy. What are those four areas? So first and foremost, we've got to get control of the inflation beast. And that is a Fed that needs to act in not only tightening its monetary policy, but also regaining credibility. Its forward guidance right now is almost meaningless. And that, that's not a good thing. It's a major tool of monetary policy. So, so the Fed has a lot to do on the inflation front. Second, we need to target fiscal policy more to protect the most vulnerable segments of our society. That has massive economic, social, and political consequences. Third, there's a whole host of pro-growth, pro-productivity reforms that need to be done, including to increase labor force participation, to improve what you talked about, the supply chains. They have a domestic angle and they have an international angle. And then finally, let's not forget financial stability. Let's not forget how risk has not only morphed and migrated from banks to non-banks, but non-banks have been encouraged by years of zero interest rates and massive and predictable liquidity injections to go well beyond their native habitat in taking risk. So the non-banking sector is still offside and we have to keep an eye on the financial stability risk because that could get back, come back and harm the economy.